Hey, it's Norm from Test Night here at Maker Faire 2015, and there are robots going at it behind us. This is Justin Gray of Grayworks. Justin, these are your robots. Yeah. Tell me about the destruction robots. What's going on right now? Well, basically you're looking at our sculpture format. You know, Grayworks Fabrication builds electric cars and robots for, for a day job kind of thing. And at night, we like to run our robots and put our EV drive technology into really old, crusty machines that we've dug out of ditches. Uh, but they're basically high-tech robots on really old, junky platforms. And so... And your interest, your interest as a company is, uh, is EV, the EV platform. These are all electric vehicles, right? Absolutely. These are all pure EV drive systems, battery electric. And what we do is we actually either power the hydraulics with an electric drive, or we just directly drive with electric motors. So it's really kind of a diverse selection of what you can do with electric drive systems in a robotic mobile platform. Then in terms of converting an old system like this guy right here, hydraulic, you got the bucket right there, that's a lot of energy just yeah. to, to pump that up. Yeah. Converting that, is, it's not, not easy. Well, actually, it isn't too hard because really what we did is we powered the hydraulic circuit with an electric hydraulic pump. And that's actually a drop-in unit. The challenge with that robot is the drive systems, the motive drives, the, the brushless DCs, they actually drive the wheels directly. Now, that's unique because no one's really ever done that. T typically, these machines are hydrostatic. And what that means is there's a giant pump, two giant pumps, and those are actually generating pressure to drive hydraulic motors. We have scrapped that entire system in lieu of these gorgeous brushless DC water-cooled EV drive systems. Now, that robot right there has two of those in it. So it has two cars worth of drive systems in it, like a Nissan Leaf or not a, not a Tesla, but like a GM Volt or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Take two of those electric motors, it's in that. Now obviously, the other guys you have there are custom built. Uh, yeah. Tell me about how you guys, how you built that out and what you wanted to get in terms of the capabilities. Well basically, the, the, the sort of the, the fun of what I do is that, like those two machines, the one on the left is a 1972, I don't know the exact years, because when I get them, they're unrecognizable. Yeah. And if you find a data plate, it's so rusted out, you can only do research to see what they are. But the build process is to give them a new life. And that's what we do. We give them a new life that they can, they can live for as long as you want. I mean, they'll live forever if you want. I mean, they're just, they're so simple, right? But we've put radio controlled systems on them. Uh, I've created each one as its own sculptural entity. And now they have their own lives and their own Personalities. Sort of, yeah, yeah, totally. And they're they're really expressive of the people who are operating them. And my team here, they're all dedicated to their these machines as if they were their own. And that's the magic of this, is that I build them and then they come to the world and we all maintain them and keep them alive. And that's sort of the, the, the build process, the vision, and the long-term goal with it. And having a lot of fun taking yeah. stuff apart. They're, they're running the fire. I wasn't expecting that. Um, yeah, no, it's it's a lot of fun, man. I mean, it's it's just good fun, and the kids love it. Maker Fair loves it. This is my tenth year here. Been here since the beginning. It's a great shot spot. And it's a beautiful presentation of technologies that you're developing that have practical use cases yeah, of absolutely. refurbishing some old tools yeah. and old machines. Yeah. And so the, this machine over here is a prototype. It's a it's a technology demonstrator of the shape of the capabilities that we have in the development of all these robots. So we've really just taken the system that I developed for these robots, which is a hybrid system from an electric vehicle, but it's radio controlled. So we've just corporatized, we've commercialized that in this robot here. And it's it's been a huge success. I mean, it's capable, the, the stuff we've done with it in the last two years of having it out in the world blows my mind. I mean, we've, we've cleared brushes in oil fields. We've gone to like, we've, you know, flipped over cars, we can move a, you know, two tons of dirt. It doesn't, it just, it doesn't blink an eye at anything we throw at it. So That's awesome. Yeah, it's a great, it's a great machine and I think it has a good future, you know. But the system that's in it, I mean, that system's right here. You know, it's dual motor controllers and dual motors. So you have just an enormous amount of power capability. Our real, our real limitation, I'll be honest, is our batteries. You know, we get free batteries donated and we have to recycle, we have to revive them. Usually we end up killing them. In fact, that poor guy right there is fried. Like his batteries are dead and there's just no bringing them back. So 
It's when they're alive, they're beautiful. And thank you, Justin, so much for sharing us with us the story of your robots. And let's go enjoy watching yeah, them totally. do more carnage.